Hi everyone, welcome to day 23 of our 31 day journey. So one thing I want you to know, I realized on day 24 that I had given you day 24 on day 23. So it's actually day 24 where I'm going over day 23. I think I must have been trying to do too much at one time and confuse myself. Nonetheless, today we are going to be talking about new goals and intentions. As you navigate through changes, it is so important that you have clear goals and ground yourself in meaningful intentions because that's what helps you move the needle forward. One of the um, books that I recently read, an author who I interviewed, was about being in alignment with your purpose. And that's something that resonated with me because that's really my uh, mission. So when you have meaningful intentions, it guides your path forward, ensuring that you move move in alignment. You got to be in alignment with your goals. All right, so let's talk about our five tips. Number one, write the vision. There's the song, write the vision. All right, so envision where you want to be once this transition is fully realized. What does the future look like? What does it feel like? What are you doing? Believe it or not, I have had visions, dreams about me being on large stages, impacting thousands of lives. And I can see it. I am seeing myself in that future state. And in order to be in that future state, I got to I got to do the work, right? I got to I got to get contacts to pitch myself to get on the stage, but I have to do the work. Understanding your vision provides a foundation for setting goals that are not just achievements, but milestones on your path to living your best life. I don't know about you, but that's one of my number one goals. Speaking of goals, with your vision in mind, it's time to translate this into a tangible, actionable goal. So an acronym that we talked about before, I'm going to say it again. Those SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This helps you ensure that your goals are well-defined and attainable. It's important that these goals should resonate with your personal values and the vision that you have for your future. I should also tell you from a personal perspective, I write my goals down every January, but I have to tweak them because sometimes the goal no longer serves me, or I realize that that goal was too big for the time frame that I have established. So that must mean that either my goal wasn't 100% smart or things have changed. I transitioned. Number three, while goals are about achieving specific outcomes, intentions focus on how you want to be. Intentions guide your attitudes, behaviors, and interactions as you work towards your goals. Set intentions that reflect the qualities you wish to embody, such as maybe you want to be more resilient or more empathetic or more compassionate or being open-minded. I talk a lot about integrating what we're talking about in your daily life. Establishing goals and intentions is just the beginning. But integrating them into your daily life is really where the magic starts to begin, right? Create daily or weekly practices that align with your intentions. Break them down into goals that reflect 
small steps that you can incorporate into your routine. One of the things um, about me, I have this model, go big or go home. And sometimes <laughs> I'm trying to go too big and it's not, it's not realistic. And so I got to reel myself back in. Number five, as you pursue your goals, you will undoubtedly encounter obstacles. View these challenges as opportunities to learn and grow. Stay flexible and adapt your strategies as needed. Always, always, always keeping that vision front of mind. And the intentions have to be consistently done. The path to achieving your goals is not a straight line, let me just tell you. But it's about persistence and then being able to adapt. Well, we are wrapping up. So today is the 24th day. So if you didn't listen to the one I posted yesterday, um, you can go ahead and <laughs> listen to that. Um, I generally record these at some point in the day, depending on my day. So as we wrap up, um, and reflect on our goals and intentions that you've set for yourself. Think about how can you bring them to life in small ways, starting today. Your goals and your intentions are the guide that will help you with this transition. Are you ready for the future that you see for yourself? I know I am. I'll see you tomorrow.